Dear young brothers and sisters of the new generation of Hindustan, Namaskar. With today's episode or this episode, we will complete this survey or discovery of the opinion, the impression and the affirmation of some of the most important, prominent and eminent scholars and thinkers and philosophers of this world about Hindustan. During the last episode, we had already seen the opinion of another British Orientalist about Hindustan. And in this episode, we see another British Orientalist, Sir John Wooddorf. And according to him, an examination of Indian Vedic doctrines shows that it is in tune with the most advanced scientific and philosophical thought of the West. The scientific and philosophical thoughts of the West, when it happened, we know all the changes, scientific, philosophical, and all other types of thoughts, positive thoughts, started in the West only after the Renaissance period. Am I right or not? And when was our famous Vedic text written? It was since 6000 BC. And this British Orientalists say, okay, it is corresponding to the thoughts of the West, which is born yesterday. Yesterday. And this was all documented in our Vedas about thousands and thousands of years before the West started to think. Am I right or not? So that is the importance. Let us see other affirmations. Again, here we have a British surgeon. His name is Sir W. Hunter. And what this Hunter says, according to him, the surgery of the ancient Indian physicians was bold and skillful. A special branch of surgery was dedicated to rhinoplasty or operations for improving the deformed ears, noses, and forming new ones, which European surgeons have now borrowed. I like to read this affirmation once more because very important that we should understand and keep this affirmation deep in our mind. So let us repeat once more this affirmation because it is by a British surgeon and not some common man. And a British surgeon affirms that the surgery of the ancient Indian physicians was bold and skillful. A special branch of surgery was dedicated to rhinoplasty or operations for improving deformed ears, noses, and forming new ones, which European surgeons have now borrowed. And that is plastic surgery. Majority of the Indian, when they talk about plastic surgery, for them it is something which came to Hindustan from the West. But see what this surgeon says. These are not invented by me. These affirmations you can see in a reliable internet websites. So we see what he said. How many of our citizens know these facts? So let us continue. Here we have a statement of an American author and a poet whose name is Wheeler Wilcox. And according to him, India, the land of Vedas, the remarkable works contains not only religious ideas for a perfect life, but also facts which science has proved true. Electricity, radium, electronics, airship, all were known to the seers, means the masters, who founded the Vedas. See, in this affirmation, Mr. Wilcox mentioned also about airships. We are told that 
it is Wright brothers who invented airships or aeroplanes. But do you know, eight years before the invention of the aeroplane by the Wright brothers, an engineer of Hindustan whose name is Shivakar Bapuji Talpade. He invented an aeroplane and he could fly it. But this information was hidden by the British who were ruling our nation during the period. See the importance of understanding all this information. And not only about the airships, he, uh, this Wilcox narrates uh, what you have already seen. We don't go back to those. Let us see other informations. Here we have Max Müller, a German scholar who states, there is no book in the world that is so thrilling, stirring and inspiring as the Upanishads. Again, another most important affirmation about Hindustan by the British historian, Dr. Arnold Toynbee. According to him, it is already becoming clear that a chapter which had a Western beginning will have to have an Indian ending. If it is not to end in the self-destruction of the human race, see the depth and importance of this affirmation. I would like to read it once again. It is already becoming clear that a chapter which had a Western beginning will have to have an Indian ending. If it is not to end, in the self-destruction of the human race. And he continues, at this supremely dangerous moment in the history, the only way of salvation for mankind is the Indian way. And what is the Indian way? Vasudhaiva Kudumbagam Loka Samastha Sukhino Pabandhu Not only me, my family, my village, or the selected people of certain gods, the chosen people of certain gods. Not only that, Loka Samasta Sukhino Pavandu, Sarva Mangalam Bhavadu, Vishwam Bhavadi Yega Nidam, Vasudhaiva Kudumbagam, and that is the Indian way. So, this famous thinker, this famous author, this historian, Arnold Toynbee affirms that it's only the Indian way can save the human race. Otherwise, we can pretend I am courageous, I am brave, I have the first this and that. We can quarrel each other and make a self distraction. See the importance. These, the foreign thinkers and all this could understand very easily, but still, the large majority of our citizens don't know these facts. Why? Because the true history of Hindustan was not taught to the vast majority of our people, especially those who came into existence since 1940. Those before 1914, at least having participated in the freedom movement, some ideas they had, the others not at all. In the next episode, we will make an analysis of the difference between Hindustan and all other nations of the rest of the world. So thank you for paying attention to my words. Jai Hind.